Welcome back with the situation here. We have a fireball that lit up the west, well, the Virginia sky, both west and Virginia, and I guess Kentucky. Anyways, an enormous fireball exploded in the sky above West Virginia on August 2nd, mystifying eyewitnesses. There's a video here, but there's got photos and stuff. And you go wait. The explosion, which briefly outshone the um, supermoon lighting up the sky, was filmed by Bill Stewart, an amateur astronomer in Cerrado, who happened to be recording at the time. Scientists have suggested the fireball was likely caused by a comet fragment falling through the Earth's atmosphere. I mean, we are in the Perseoids meteor shower territory, so yeah, and the Perseoids are known for fireballs. As at 2.13 a.m., Stuart told SpaceWeather.com, the fireball made two audible booms. After one bright flash, it broke into three distinct fragments. One remained bright as it descended below the horizon. It could have possibly touched down, although didn't hear an impact. A, sci a NASA scientist had suggested that the large cosmic fragment, weighing, weighing around 75 pounds, fell to Earth and burned up an atmosphere, caused causing the fireball. Bill Cook of NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office told Space Weather it, told, it, uh, it entered Earth's atmosphere at about 50 miles above the K Kentucky town of Krypton. Yes, meteor on the town called Krypton. Moving roughly southeast at 37,000 miles per hour. The object traveled 65 miles through the atmosphere before disintegrating 30 miles above Duffield, Virginia. Cook added the breakup of the fireball generated an energy of roughly two tons of TNT, which caused the booms and shaking experienced by some in the region. It, at its brightest, the fireball was about five times brighter than the full moon. And considering the full, you literally had the full moon there for comparison. Um, anyways, fireballs are also known as bolides and are caused by larger than average meteors falling to earth and burning up rapidly in atmosphere because of intense friction. Fireball meteors are fragments of rock or ice from asteroids or comets. In this case, it was likely an asteroid based on the apparent entry velocity, fragmentation, characterized the characteristics and sonic effects, said Mike Hankey, an amateur astronomer and operations manager for the AMC. It is possible meteorites survived and are lying in the woods somewhere near the uh, eastern border of Kentucky and Tennessee, Hankey told Newsweek. More than 70 people reported sightings of the fireball to the AMS. The observers were in locations across the eastern United States starting in Ohio and stretching south to Georgia. I have always tried to pay attention to meteor showers and things of that nature and for the most part been disappointed from what I've seen. I've encountered some rare bright flashes but never on the magnitude I saw here, commented one Kentucky-based user, Nick M, on the Society's website. This was the coolest thing I ever witnessed, wrote Amanda W, also in Kentucky. It was the brightest and biggest meteor I've ever seen. It was the most elegant fire green ball arc arcing across the sky before it suddenly turned into a bright gold as it broke apart and disappeared, posted April H from Tennessee. The comet that the fragment originated from is unknown, but it may have come from the inner solar system's debris field which is filled with chunks of many asteroids and comets. So, um, yeah, that's just one of those things. It's like, but again, we are approaching peak for Perseoids, so that could be the source of the, um, of the meteor. So, yeah, that's about it. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.